Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to find member forces in a cross using method of section. If the force in only a few members of a cross are to be found, the method of section generally provides the most direct means of obtaining these forces. The method of sections consists of passing an imaginary section through the cross, thus cutting it into two parts. Since only three independent equilibrium equations can be applied to the isolated portion of the cross, try to select a section that in general passes through not more than three members in which the forces are unknown. So in this example I will use method 1. If you watch method of joints videos, I explain two methods. So method 1 and method 2. Uh, don't worry about method 2. In this example I will use method 1. So it says mark all the member forces as they direct away from the joint. Uh, like this figure you can see uh, these forces are marked directed away from the joint. Then do the calculation that means uh, taking sum of horizontal and vertical forces and taking moments. And you can see uh, there is a part of truss and here also I marked forces direct away from the joint. So this example I will use this diagram. So you will see I will mark forces, member forces like this. So then after you read the calculations, if you get positive answers, member is in tension. And if you get negative answers, member is in compression. Okay, now we will see how we solve this problem using method of sections. Find the member forces of members GF, BF and BC which are GF is this member, PF is this member and BC is this member. So in order to find member forces I have to draw a line through these three members. So I have to draw a line as cut these three members like this. right? So I will cut this cross through this line. Then I will consider this this part alone. So our first task is to find in support reactions. So you can see there are two supports. At A there is a pin support and at D there is a rocker support. When we have a pin support we usually mark two support reactions which are horizontal force component and vertical force component. If we have a rocker support we mark one vertical force component. So first I will consider sum of all the horizontal forces. So if you closely look at this cross, you can see there is only one horizontal force. That means this horizontal force is equals to 0. So I can write ax equals 0. Then I will consider sum of all the vertical forces. So if you closely observe this cross, you can see there is a symmetricity of this cross. So, ignore this force so we can consider uh, this force doesn't exist and it's useless right because it's equal to zero so you can see there's a symmetry of this truss so due to this symmetric nature i can say uh, these support reactions are same that means a y equals d y so next i'm going to consider sum of all the vertical forces if i consider vertical forces i can write a y plus d y a y plus d y equals a downward forces which are 3 kilo newton plus 2 kilo newton plus 3 kilo newton so when I simplify this I can get a y plus d y equals 8 since a y equals d y I can say a y equals 4 kilo newton and d y equals 4 kilo newton units are kilo newton Okay, this is the uh, cut part. Uh, I consider this part alone and you can see there, there are uh, three member forces I marked here. And I marked it as they directed away from the joints. In order to find these member forces, I am going to take moment about this joint B. So for that, I will need lengths to forces. So which uh, I will mark it for you. I will need this length and also I will need 
this length right if I take moment of this force I need this length if I take moment of this force I need this length uh, please keep in mind this force is acted in this joint right you can see it marked a little away from the joint but it should be marked on this G joint so I will erase this force so next I'm going to find uh, this length and this length in order to find lengths I will have to consider geometry of this uh, cross so first I will consider this A G B crank so you can see uh, there are three angles and two angles are same so this is 30 degrees and this angle also 30 degrees so that means AG length is same to GB or AG length is equals to GB length so that means I can say if I go a vertical line through this joint and it is 90 degree angle and this length is same to this length so that means this overall length is 4 meters so this is 2 meters and this is 2 meters ok now we know length to this 3 kN force so next I am going to find length to this SGF member force so in order to find uh, this length I will grow a triangle like this so you can see this is a uh, 90 degree angle and it's a uh, right triangle uh, this length is 4 and this angle is 30 so using trigonometric theories I can say this length is equals to AB sin 30 AB is this length and sin 30 is uh, this angle and AB is equals to 4 and sin 30 equals to 1 over 2 when I simplify this I can get this length is equals to 2 so now I know all the lengths uh, next I am going to take moment about point B to the clockwise direction so if I take a take moment about uh, this joint B I have to write FGF force FGF force is this force and length to this force is 2 we found it before right this length and it's clockwise direction moment due to this force is clockwise direction then uh, 3 is uh, this force so moment due to this force is counterclockwise direction therefore I put minus sign here and length to this force is 2 we found it before as well and plus 4 4 is uh, this force moment due to this force is clockwise therefore I put plus sign here and length to this force is 4 meters that's why I wrote 4 here when I simplify this I can get FGF equals minus 5 kilo Newton I mark forces directed away from the joint so and I got minus answers so, so according to our method 1 this is a compression force next I am going to consider sum of all the vertical forces so if I get sum of the vertical forces I have to write FGF sin 30 which is this force so this is the force and this is the this force's angle so if I consider vertical component of this force I have to write FGF sin 30 then FBF is this force and its vertical component is FBF sin 60 so this is the 60 angle and plus 4 4 is the this uh, support reaction these all uh, forces are plus because it's directed upward and minus 3 is this force it's directed downward therefore I put minus sign here then here I know FGF value it's minus 5 kilo Newton I can substitute minus 5 kilo Newton for this FGF force then I simplify it and I can get FBF equals 1.73 kilo Newton and as you can see it's a value therefore I can say it is a tension force now I know FGF value and FBF value next I am going to consider sum of all the horizontal forces so I can write FGF cos 30 that is uh, 
horizontal component of this FGF force then plus FBF cos 60 which is this force horizontal component of this force is FBF cos 60 plus FBC FBC is the this force so all the forces are plus because uh, these components are directed to the same directed as we consider and we know FGF value we know FBF value so I can substitute uh, these these two values into this equation so I substitute it and finally I can get answer as F FBC equals to 3.46 kilonewton and its plus value that means it is a tension force